Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman, and in today's video I want to talk about file association. This is a good to know for everybody, for everyday users like me and you, but also for people who do tech support. A lot of times you'll come across an application that requires specific software to run, but sometimes, and for some weird reason, it doesn't work because it doesn't know which application to use. This is usually, or this is typical with apps or applets that need to have a base software to run underneath uh, so that way it can do its thing and that good example of that is java applications or applets or even java plugins so of course we know what the basic file association is if we look at this video file we can see that it opens up using a windows player so if we right click it and go to properties we can see that it opens with movies and TV which is part of Windows so it's a Windows uh, video player but if you want to open this .mp4 file with something else we can simply do this click change and for example select the VLC media player click OK select it and now it's using Windows media player so that's a quick file association and you know this is pretty easy anybody can do this and it's really quick and really simple but sometimes in tech support in a business environment this breaks even if you have the correct software installed and uh, sometimes it may not prop run properly so let me show you an example that I've kind of recreated to show you what happens so here is a website this is a NASA website they have a bunch of Java uh, applets or you know simple Java applets that you can run and if we click save it's going to download it to our folder so if we click open folder we can now see that this extension that is JNLP there's nothing associated with. if I double click on it it's just not gonna know what to do because you know it doesn't doesn't even have Java installed on this computer however sometimes even if you do have Java installed on your computer this file association will break in our case there is no Java installed on this computer um, yeah new web browsers like for example Chrome here and uh, probably Edge as well and I'm assuming um, I, you know I'm not hunter, I'm not 100 percent sure on IE but um, Chrome uh, I know uses uh, Java plugins to run so it wouldn't even need that I went ahead and downloaded Java so we're going to install Java here and you can see that the file association will change immediately but I will show you nonetheless on how to do it manually and properly in case this breaks and it becomes just a white sheet of paper as it is right now so simple way to, to resolve this is to make sure you have Java installed so we're going to install Java and uh, I'm not going to okay I'm just going to click okay and it's just going to install it real quick for you and then this is going to change hopefully into the correct Java um, file association it should when it's done it should know that it's downloading or that it's installing it should know that Java is installed uh, this is typically what happens whenever you install a program it runs the file association at the end it changes these settings right away and it sure work but again sometimes it breaks and then you have to do it manually and there is a different way of going about it instead of a quick way so all right let's see what happens I'm going to click close and we can see that it nothing happened so uh, let me go ahead and refresh this to see nothing happened so if I double click it huh it actually knows but it didn't tell us that so what it does now it's actually downloading this uh, it downloaded that little applet from the NASA website and this is exactly what happens whenever you need that file association or otherwise you'll never get to this point where it's going to run that applet so now if we click run it's going to start our little application can't find the name of Intel ICD open <laughs> okay so it's not working for me because it doesn't have the open GL driver anyways so here's what happens it actually started using uh, OpenGL on uh, uh, Java without OpenGL and it's still it's working so that's good now we have this little globe and now we have file association um, that is working so let's go ahead and close this real quick and go through Windows and tell it 
what it needs to use in order to run properly. So the way we're going to do this is going to right click on this little Windows icon. We're going to select apps and features up here. And then we're going to select default apps here. Very important. And then we're going to scroll down. And we're going to select where it says choose default apps by file type. So this may take a little bit to pull up because it's literally pulling up all the file types in the entire system. So what you're going to see here uh, in a moment here is bunch of on the left hand side dot extensions. So it's going to, for example, have all of these dot 3GP and everything else. So what we're looking for is an extension that is called, uh, let's see here, dot JNLP. I wanted to make sure you guys see that. So it's dot JNLP. You can also see it right here. It says JNLP. So we're going to look for that. We're going to scroll down. JNLP. All right. JNLP. JNLP. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So it already knows to use uh, Java Web Launcher. So to show you where that is, actually, in case it's not detected, um, Java Web Launcher. Um, it's also known as Java Web Start. So if we go in the root of C and then we look for program files x86, Java, JRE, and then uh, bin, and then we're going to look for Java Web Start, which should be Java WS. I probably passed it. Java WS, Java WS. Java CPL, that's the Java control panel, which we will pull up as well because I wanted to show you the, there it is, Java WS. Because I wanted to show you the actual applet that downloaded to your computer. So Java WS, and that's the extension that it needs. So in this case, uh, let's see here, file association for that is correct. So it's Java uh, web launcher which is also known as Java web start here you see it says web start launcher that's the same thing so since we are here I'm going to open up a Java control panel which by the way is also the same thing as if you were to go to control panel of the windows so if we just type in control panel and open it up and yeah, where is it Java there it is Java 32 bit is the same thing as Java control panel which is Java CPL. So here we are, and in this here, I'm going to show you what exactly downloaded to the Java applet. And this is always going to be on the first tab. You don't gotta, you don't have to go anywhere else, but you do have to click here where it says temporary internet files, click view. And we can see now that it downloaded that Java applet right here, which is Whirlwind KML, and it's by NASA and you can see that it type is application so you will see this a lot when you do web uh, web support and again if you're having issues with this you can literally just delete it uh, right here just be clicking the x and uh, we're going to reinitiate it again because this applet all it does here it just calls for um, downloading off that from nasa website see it downloaded it again and it's giving me the stupid error again, but that's not related to that. It's still going to run. Anyways, exit. Come on. Anyways, here it is working again. And that's how you do a file association in tech support and just on your computer, if that's what you're into. Uh, let's see. While I'm here in Java, I want to show you a couple other things to kind of look out for. Uh, the, one of the other typical things is security. Some websites will never get to that point where you get that applet to come up. So if you were to go to here and download it and this and that, uh, you, you may never come up to that point if you remember seeing that security pop-up or are you sure you want to run this type of thing. Uh, that sometimes you have to um, add that website as a trusted website and an exception list. And this is located in security. And this is typically done for uh, uh, web start applications. You can see here, web start applications. And if I click here, edit list, I can literally add the name of that website in there. And after that, it should start working. All right, let me just go to this website here real quick. And then we can copy this here. Cup, cup, <laughs> copy. And then we're going to put it in here. And now, the security prompts, if any, 
will not pop up and it will allow Java to run uh, automatically. Now let's double check again here and this is another troubleshooting thing. Let's see where it's downloading from when I run this again. See it's downloading actually from HTTPS worldwind.ca so that's another way to troubleshoot this so we can go in here and type in HTTPS world wind dot ca I think that's what it was worldwind ca so if you're having trouble running these type of applets worldwind.arc.nasa.gov okay so um, I was wrong it's the same thing worldwind.arc.nasa.gov okay so yeah because sometimes it does you know the applet itself may actually look uh, for a different location to download uh, the application itself um, locally, which I have shown you that in Java Control Panel, and that was here under View Temporary Internet Files. All right, guys, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Please leave a like. I really appreciate that. It really helps the channel move forward. Um, it, it helps get more reviews, to be honest, and I really appreciate you guys watching and your support. I, uh, I'm utterly grateful, so <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.